Hey, it's KMA. How's your day today? And welcome to the corner. Today, we're going to do some things to get our mining area done. We like to make it look good for the most part. We're going to put a uh, little mining hut on top of the mine and dig down. But first, we need to create the mine. So, here's a little time lapse of me creating the mine. Alright, this is at level 11 where it needs to be so we can get the most diamonds and gold and stuff like that. I haven't seen any gold or diamonds yet, but we will. What this is is for strip mines. Strip mines are just mines that are one block wide that go down and then I do poke holes on the side to get the most diamonds for my value with blocks broken. So I'm going to uh, make the side mines right now, the sideways. I've already uh, lit up the area that I'm going to dig to, so I'm going to do the easy side first. There's a lot of lava and stuff over here that i got to clean up, so I'm just going to do the easy side first, because uh, that's the way I roll. Since I've been gone, I, they've been doing updates with Minecraft, and one of them is going to be the mountains, cliffs, and caves update. What do you think of that? Tell me down below what you think of, are you looking forward to it? I am. Because I love doing these underground mines like this. And if you have... Ooh, if you have massive amounts of caves, that's just going to change things up. I'm looking forward to the glow berries and all that. Anything that glows, I like. Any source, sources of light. So that's going to be awesome. Um, but just having an... I mean, everybody's going to be doing the underground caves now. I mean, underground bases now because of these caves and... I just see Moria's popping up everywhere. Um, and Moria's a good thing to build. It's a tough thing to build if you do it right. But it's a good thing. Um, not saying I'm going to do that or anything. This is 1.16. This world's going to stay in 1.16. And here, here's the kicker. Um, what you guys may not know is when 1.17 comes out, I'm going to start streaming that. Um, and I'm going to have a streaming world, then I'm going to have this world. And if I needed to do some work in this world, maybe I'll stream this world. But mostly, uh, there's going to be a 1.17 world specifically for me to stream on. Uh, I will put on little shorts on this YouTube channel. But, uh, but this world will stick around when that happens. And that will be good. So... Uh, the reason for these corridors is so I can have a way to do my mines. Basically, this is going to be a mining lane. Let me put this up here. We're going to have a mine here. A mine here. A mine here. Let me get rid of that so I know. Should probably add some light. So if we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, there we go. And I'll go over this a little bit later in the video why I'm doing it with uh, these dimensions. 
but there's a, there's a reason for it, and that will be taught later on. So another thing about the uh, caves update is uh, we're gonna get the warden. Anybody who knows me knows I'm a scaredy cat when it comes to Minecraft. I don't like to do things that are gonna be difficult for me to handle, and I love like doing strip mining for relaxation to me this is very relaxing as long as nothing is going to land on my head but with the warden down most likely going to be down at like level minus 64 that's not going to be relaxing when i'm just doing this and all of a sudden this dude comes out of nowhere and it starts attacking you that's going to give me the headaches but you know that's that's what the game is and the way i figure of fighting the warden anyways i imagine he's going to be Two blocks tall. Let's just go like this and get into a place that he can't attack you and just attack him. Unless he throws something at you, which I'm not sure. Oh, really? I don't have any. <laughs> this is the extent of my iron right now, so I'm kind of like, oh. Oh, I need an iron help. We're going to build an iron farm for that, though. So I'm not worried about it. It just kind of stinks not having any iron right now. I can't even make hoppers. Ah! So yeah, the warden I'm kind of looking forward to and kind of worried about it also. Um, but it's going to be a good update to the game for sure. I'll, I'll say that. I'm going to just close that off. Now we're just going to get rid of this roof. The yeah, oxalotls. Yeah, I know they're cute. I'm not one that does cuteness with Minecraft, though, so I'm not really looking forward to that as much as other things. But, you know, maybe uh, when I go take on a Guardian Temple, they'll be nice to have just to help me killing the... Um, we're going to be killing the Guardians with the Axolotls. Yeah. Take something cl cute and fluffy and have them kill away. So basically all I'm doing is just enclosing the area for my mind... Don't have to worry about things plopping in here. And I got my mine tunnels. And basically I, I go uh, 300 something blocks that direction and do poke holes every f four blocks. We'll do that later on in this episode. But now we need to make the, uh, the mine hut. And I need some spruce wood for that. And I don't have any spruce wood. So I'm going to go and get some spruce wood. Stupid creeper. <laughs> Oh, speaking of, let's get out of here. Oh, and there's one over there too. Yikes. What I wanted to do before I went to get some spruce wood is to expand this garden a little bit more. We need villager trading stuff, and believe it or not, the root beet seeds are really good. I mean, not the seeds. The root beets themselves are really good to trade with uh, villagers. So what do you think of the, um, the new update? Do you guys think it's a good thing? Um, what do you guys wish? I, I just saw the Grimstone thing, and I think the Grimstone is cool, but it needs something to offset it. They need to cut back on the Grimstone after Y64 or whatever. Um, because it just doesn't look right, but it's really early still. Um, and they just came out with a Grimstone, so I'm imagining that... They're going to make it look a little bit better. I know the ores are going to have the Grimstone background to them, so they don't stick out like they do now. But the Grimstone alone just makes things look really dark. But that could be just the uh, way it's set up for the Warden. Because I imagine the Warden's going to be anywhere below level 0. And I also like that they're uh, encasing strongholds. Yeah, they're encasing the strongholds, so... Uh, they're not going to be ravines and stuff going through them like they are now and strongholds are going to be easily Or a lot easier to traverse and to explore and it will make it so you probably would want to actually maybe even make a stronghold for a base or update a stronghold for a base because they won't be all chopped up and Segmented and broken apart and all that jazz. So that's good. I, I kind of I meant to that. I was just thinking, I told you I was going to spend a lot of time over here. 
Alrighty, we've got a fair amount of crops growing. Um, basically, if, if you, you're not smart and you don't understand what's going on, each one of these crop fields is for a different crop. <laughs> I say that because it's pretty obvious. But if you didn't know that, I'm sorry if I just insulted your intelligence. Get smart. Pay attention. So I also wanted to say that I'm very happy with how the first episode went. Um, I'm having a little bit, tr little bit of trouble having diarrhea of the mouth to be able to uh, speak my thoughts like I was in the past because I'm just not used to doing that. But that will come in time. So the videos will definitely get better as time goes on. Um, not saying that video was bad or anything, but... Uh, speaking wise it could have been a lot better but then again I'm also my worst critic so it may have been liked by you guys um, I'm glad that it seems like people are happy that I'm back and it's and I'm very happy to have that uh, response from some of you and that's awesome so thank you very much we got to make a uh, field for these yeah I'm just gonna take them completely down we'll make a field later on with these Right now, I'm pretty sure I have enough of what I need for an episode. Maybe we'll do the field this episode. But over near where the crops are, I'm going to uh, make a couple of rows of these things. These sugarcane things. Because even though this may seem like a lot, it really isn't when it comes to villager trading. I keep mentioning villager trading, so I'm going to get to that in the next episode or so. I haven't figured out what I'm going to do next episode yet, but uh, we're not too far away from getting villagers and all that here, so I can start breeding them. I've decided that I'm actually going to leave them at the village because the village is so close to my base. It's just on the other side of that hill. Um... So the villagers are going to actually stay in a village this time. Usually I move them to my base, but um, I'm not going to this time. Yeah, we got a good five or six stacks, which is good. Look at all the seeds. Did I forget to do plant some more seeds? Hold on. Let me empty my inventory of all this junk. We make an axe. And let's go plant some seeds. I forgot that I had more seeds than what was here. So maybe our... Um, oh no, it's not going to be. Yeah, it's going to be pretty close. We might be able to finish off this whole wheat field. But it's going to be your awfully close. We're going to be about 15, 20 seeds short. Which is okay because the next time I harvest this it will be okay. So prepare for another time lapse of me traveling across the country. Yeah. To go get some spruce wood so I can build my... So I can cover up this hole that's over my head there. And with a building of sorts that rocks. So... <laughs>
we are going to work on a mining hut. Just something to enclose our mine in. There's our hole for the mine. And I just wanted to create something to cover it up. Um, get some light in there and that sort of stuff. It's not going to be finished today because I need some bones and I need <laughs> a bunch of iron and I don't have any iron whatsoever. Um, that's why I'm using stone tools again. Yes. First I'm going to cut down this grass, smooth this all out, get this all one layer. Now we're going to place cobble around the bottom. Right like there. No, wait, that's not right. Hold on. I like the corner to be rounded off a little bit. So once we get this cobble around the bottom, the rest of the um, walls are basically going to be spruce planks. Because at the beginning, when you're first starting out, all you really have to work with is cobble and, you know, wood. <laughs> So, yeah, that's what we needed to do. So I'm going to uh, get some wood up. I'm going to uh, place some walls and get this built up a little bit higher. And uh, in some areas, I'm going to have um, the cobble just going up on the up to the ceiling. So I'm going to uh, get some of this down and uh, come back in a second. Now that we got most of the walls up, I'm going to add some uh, logs, bring up these support beams so we have something that the building looks like it's actually you know got a good foundation plus you know spruce spruce logs you can't go wrong with spruce logs never even years from now if i'm in the same world spruce logs will be a major building log that i will use because it is one of the best logs to use the only thing that would be different is if I use dark oak planks. So now that that is done, we're going to connect the beams. Now that I've got it at the right height, I can add these cross beams here. So one more cross beam to add. Actually, there's two, but one more horizontal one. And then there's one that goes across the whole build. Can I reach? I can reach. I've decided I'm going to uh, terraform the outside of this a little bit better because the grass, the higher grass comes right up against the build and I, I want to put some stairs around each pillar and having all this area filled in with grass um, at the wrong level makes it so you can't really see these uh, stairs that I'm going to be putting around the, the uh, spruce logs. So these are the stairs I was just talking about, trying to go around each one of the pillars. It just makes things uh, give more perspective, depth, and all that wonderful stuff that you try and get with a build. Because if everything was flat, it would look kind of boring. So you kind of have to give it a little, a little bit of depth, and it makes things pop out a little bit better. But I think I'm going to um, finish this off screen and uh, show you what it looks like when it's done. Alright guys, I uh, have not completely finished this, but I have added some things to it. Uh, we've got some trapdoors on all the sides here. we got the fence posts. we got uh, some interesting things in here. Let me um, do the next section. We try to create a cool effect here um, by throwing that down. Do I have any spruce planks on me? No. So we got one, two, three of those. Then we're going to put these on top of it, little smokers. And then we have uh, little smoking things. Yeah, we like little smoking things. <laughs> so um, other things that are coming in here is, I'm gonna have some chains hanging down from here and I'm gonna have a little table hung from the chain. 
Uh, the grass is going to be bone mealed. But basically, this is it. I think it's going to be... I think it's one taller than I wanted it to. But I don't know if I'm going to tear it down and do it again. So as you see, my crops are done. So I'm going to get kick these crops out again because that's what we do this is our life until we get a hundred percent of everything this is our life actually this will stop once we get all the um, books that we need from the villagers um, unless I die and I have to redo everything but uh once we get the villagers done, you know, and get our the books that we need to make the proper armor and stuff um, and tools, then we'll be okay. All right, so we have to add a chest here for my carrots. I'm overflowing on carrots. As you see, I'm almost overflowing on potatoes. One more and I'll have the potatoes. The beet beetroots are flying way behind. Um, and I'm going to add one for the wheat because we have a ton of wheat. All right, I added this in since the last time we've seen this. this is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows. There's nothing holding this tree up. <laughs> I decided to keep the top of it. Nobody will see because most of the time this stuff will be grown. So as you see, I'm already getting a uh, pretty hefty back lot of sugar cane. And this is that tree I was telling you about. It's just floating. But when the, when the sugar cane is up, you can't tell. And I didn't want to cut that down. So um, what's next is we're going to go down and do some mining. I am sick of not having iron. I would like to get some iron so I can fill, finish the mine hut and get some covering for me so I don't feel so naked. And uh, I'll see you downstairs. So the first thing that we do is we make a tunnel that's 320 blocks long with a torch every five blocks. And what I do is I just grab the diamonds and I on the way out and leave everything else behind because I don't really mind leaving the other stuff behind i'll catch it on the way back from doing this long tunnel so as you see it's just a uh, one wide tunnel two blocks high that i could go 320 blocks and then at the very end i make a t section so this will uh, match up with the tunnels when i uh do the side tunnels next to it and they're 13 blocks away then on the way back what i do every fourth block is i do a poke hole and then I grab any ores that are available. I make a poke hole every four blocks down. That means I can see the block next to it. And on the other side, I can see the block on the other side next to it. And the only blocks that I do not see are in the middle of in between the two poke holes. But most ores are only do not gather in one space. They have ores that multiple blocks around. So doing the poke holes, I can see the ores next to it if there's one stuck in the middle. Very rarely will I miss something in the center. So that's a great way of doing the poke holes and that's why I do it that way. While I've done my mining, I've done the full spectrum um, 320 blocks down with the poke holes to the side like that. And let me show you the riches that I got. I got a whole bunch of coal. I used two full pickaxes and a little bit more of another. I got a bunch of iron, uh, a little bit of gold, a bunch of redstone, some lapis, and uh, 20 diamonds. But I also used diamonds for these three. So there's 9, 11, 12. So I actually got 32 diamonds out of that. And I used a whole bunch of iron for my um, my uniform here. So I did pretty good. Um, I'd rather like that. That was pretty good. And I, I used up most of my food, so I'm going to have to go get some food. But, I mean, how, how can you beat that? That is a bunch of coal, a bunch of iron, 
bunch of redstone, bunch of good stuff. I can't wait. So let's uh, let's get going on to some other stuff. Another thing I did is I added some bone meal to the ground here to bring up the grass. Um, and I added some leaves and stuff in here. So I think it looks good. These should be transferred to the uh, blast furnace, but I don't have the blast furnace just yet. So I'm hoping that you uh, like the looks of this place now. I, I kind of like it. It's a little tall. I might still cut it down one block. Um, but I'm going to have a tutorial on this, this build in the next episode, not the next episode, in a new series I'm going to do tutorials. Any build that I build in here that is original, I'm going to make a tutorial on how to build it. Why not? <laughs> I think it should be fun to let other people uh, do these builds. It's not like this build's anything special, but it's a start. And uh, there'll be a tutorial on this next week if you want to uh, build the same thing. But I'm going to say that's going to be it today. We did a lot of mining. We did a lot of um, farming. And we built this little thing behind us. And I think it was a good episode. And so next week, or ne next episode, we're going to start working with the villagers. And that will be good. We're going to find a place to make an iron farm. And also possibly make a uh, villager holding place where I can trade with villagers. But till then, have a great day. KMA, you are awesome. Thank you guys so much for the support. Goodbye.